Okay, next investigation, we're gonna look at detox pads. These things come in a lot of different forms. The basic idea is that it's an adhesive that you stick to some part of your body, usually the bottom of the foot, and it sucks the toxins out with whatever the materials are in the pad. The brand we're gonna look at is Kenoki Pads. Uh, Spencer, what can you tell us about how long they've been around, how many have been sold, that sort of thing? It's hard to find exact numbers online, but we have to guess that between Kenoki and the other products, it has to be hundreds of thousands. Where are these things available? How much do they cost? That sort of thing, do we have any information? If you do a search on Amazon for detox pads, you find well over 200 hits. And the interesting thing is the cost can be anywhere from $3 to $50. Okay, so how are we gonna test these things? Any ideas? Well, I think the first thing we have to do is just read the box, follow the directions, put them on, and see what happens. Okay, let's see if they work, or let's see what happens with them. Yeah. What else? They come sealed in a package, so uh, as a first step as a control, we could simply open the package and leave it out overnight and see what it does. Also, probably uh, expose it to distilled water and see how it reacts to that. Okay, what else? Who else do we want to talk to about this? You should talk to a doctor and find out how the body actually detoxifies itself. Okay. I would suggest a chemist to find out what kind of reactions are going on or w might go on with these ingredients. All right, well, let's get going. Let's go talk to some people and uh, see what happens with the pads themselves. What do detox pads do? Well, according to the box, they dispel toxins, relax muscles and tendons, replenish vital essence and strengthen the kidney, shape and beautify the body, promote sleep, and beautify foot and clear odor. There are two main ways that the body can detoxify itself. One is through the kidneys, taking toxins out of the blood, putting them into the urinary system, and then extruding, uh, getting rid of them through the urine. The other is the liver, which takes materials from what is ingested, and also to some extent from the blood, uh, uh, metabolizes them to render them uh, less toxic or non-toxic, and then releases them through, through the gut. The pads are likely to induce sweating, perspiration, uh, which is necessary for the body, but it, uh, sweating does not involve the release of toxins as such. Uh, sweating is basically the release of fluid and, and salt, and uh, which has its use, but not, not primarily or not ex uh, in any way related to the release of toxins. Hi, my name is Yvette Dantrema. I have a bachelor's in theater, a bachelor's in chemistry, and a master's in forensic science. There are a few possibilities of what could be happening in here because we see that wood vinegar and bamboo vinegar are in there. So when moisture is introduced to the system, it could be a solvent that allows these ingredients to react. So let's see what happens when we add some water to it. So here is a Kenoki pad in its original wrapper, so ripping it open. I've never seen one of these outside of the pad. Oh. It actually looks like it might be a little brown. Now, when they put them on your body, they have this glued white paper. So when you see them on the commercials, they look white because they're behind this and then they appear to turn brown. So let's cut it open and see what the powder looks like that's inside of there. Oh, man, the powder is actually kind of grayish to start with, grayish brown. So let's see what happens when we get it a little wet. And there it is. It's turning fairly dark brown already, if I can get it to absorb. So I don't think it's any toxin, because this is distilled water we're pouring onto it. It's just that we're, take, we're making mud, <laughs> essentially. So as for all the claims that sucking toxins out of your body is what's making this change color, it's just adding water. It's just making mud. This is, this is just distilled water, and we've created a, a bit of a muddy situation here. So that's all there is to this. It's just mud.